It's way, gents, for the ancient farm at Giza, in the shadow of the pyramids, and a welcome from the village headman. They're a leave party in the Middle East, and all interested in agriculture. Some of them are farmers themselves back home. It's the time of the wheat harvest, and the harvesters cut the crop in the same way as they did even before the pyramids were built. The white experts examine the yield with a critical eye. The threshing is done by means of a heavy sledge fitted with sharp discs which cut the crop into chaff. Junior lends a hand to scrape an honest living. The threshing floor is a circle of hard, flat earth over which the sheaves are spread, and it's the continuous round of the ox-drawn machine that eventually does the trick. The grain is winnowed by pitchforking the grist into the breeze, and there's even a knack about that as the visitors discover when they try it. As soon as the crop is harvested, ploughing begins again. The plough is even more crude than the thresher, but it does the job remarkably well. A typical water wheel which Egypt has used since the beginning of time. A chain of buckets scoops up the water into the irrigation channels. And now everything stops for tea, or rather coffee, made as only an Egyptian knows how. Here's to good friendship, hence the pyramid, says the headman.